Hi Future Strategist, I'm back and this is a very important video that we need to cover and you need to watch and rewatch. Because we're going to cover three things that are very important for next week and the remaining of the semester. One, next week you have the general evaluations. Not all groups are cohesive and I need everyone to create and follow through uh, developing this uh, group evaluation which is very important to be honest and evaluate appropriately and this is on the group level so that means you have to share that with the other people and submit one document as a group each person will do their 200 words and will rate each other but it's that submission that's a group that again helps perpetuate that dynamic and helps facilitate uh, proper group uh, and teamwork in addition to that, anyone who receives below a five, will, it will indicate to me they're not meeting the expectations of the group. Number two, I want you to start working on your booklet. The booklet is one of your final deliverables. I encourage you to go and mull over the examples that I've given you on issue.com. There are several examples there, several from other strategy classes and other classes that I've taught. It's very important that you look over those because they provide very good insight. I expect each group to produce a dynamic booklet, something that is professional, that is engaging, and that clearly demonstrates all the research that you've done. You need to highlight every single aspect of that brief in your booklet. This is your opportunity to expand, to elaborate, to show your learning journey. So that booklet needs to look professional. Don't put together just a basic PowerPoint slides with tons of words or whatever. It needs to be engaging, and I encourage you to continuously look at those booklets. It's very important that it's dynamic because the client will look at those. You want to know what that is? A visual strategic plan that you're creating. We're not creating just a Word document, but a visual way of demonstrating all the tools, concepts, analysis, and research that we've done. So I'm expecting that to be the same type of professionalism as those examples and the same type of dynamic booklets that you've created. Uh, continuously look at the outline that I've given you of what needs to be in that booklet. And finally, the bios are optional. Most importantly, this is the third point. Some comments about the midterm presentations. I'm mostly happy with your presentations. You have improved with the soft skills and the professionalisms um, with your presentation and you're definitely clearer to understand. There is a more, there's more of a narrative and a flow of your presentations, and I can tell that you've worked on it. Obviously, the more, we the more we work with the material and the research, the more familiar we are with it. That being said, many groups, and this is very, very important, many groups, not all groups, many groups are not addressing the problem that the project brief has outlined. You're addressing a different problem. So I encourage you to go back to the brief, read it over, and understand the objectives. You have gone off on a tangent and not addressing what the client wants. <clears throat> More specifically, and to help you out, you need to come up with strategies for civic engagement. That means it is through civic engagement that will influence public opinion and, and put pressure on the city government to make a robust climate action plan. So that means we are not creating this lofty goal, we're not creating a, a climate action plan. We are creating strategies for civic engagement to help change the hearts, minds, and behaviors of the different target market or customer segments or personas that we've developed. So you're not solving how to move to solar or how to create a climate action plan. Many of you have talked about that. Your vision, it was more of a vision. You have to come up. This is where the rubber meets the road. In strategy, it's about implementation. It's about the micro aspects. Those micro aspects added together in a cascading event create a broader vision and a broader mission and make that, um, that broader strategy possible. Just turning to solar, pushing everyone to solar is not this micro approach. You need to work with the civic engagement to understand, to change the public in terms of this is important, this is how you go do it, do it and how you, how you uh, engage with the, the, the citizens, which will in turn engage with public opinion and in turn engage with the public officials. So what is the difference and how is that, what are the examples? So you need to identify civic engagement strategies, not the lofty vision to turn to solar. So what would that engagement look like? One, if Emily re regularly mentioned that 
it could look exactly like maybe a more traditional. Here's an outline or a list of things that one person would say to other people to discuss um, the importance of going renewable and how to go about uh, understanding, learning, and then actually applying with the existing infrastructure that's there. So we've, we've gone out and done research what, what exists. So maybe, you know, in a traditional way, civic engagement would be a representative from the Sierra Club going, saying, here are the talking points that I need to tell people on a door-to-door. So this would be a, or a pamphlet, or direction to a website. So that would be an example of, of very traditional ways of civic engagement. I would like to push you to think differently, to think creative, and maybe there's ways to create a digital app that can be very engaging for civic engagement that can promote some of the similar and concepts. So for instance, and I'm only throwing radical ideas out there, but Pokemon Go. This was something that got people out there to work as a team and all this other stuff. Can there be an app that can be just as engaging? Maybe, you know, Renewable Go, Renewable and Solar Go, or St. Pete Solar Go. And how can you collect maybe badges and or uh, uh, concepts within the community that are stationed around or talk to so many people about uh, becoming solar or becoming uh, more dependent on renewable and the importance of that and is there a game that can be played from if it's kids if it's high school if it's adults I mean everyone was playing Pokemon Go so why can't the same happen here so this is two different examples the traditional might be here are the talking points that one person from the Sierra Club might need to engage other people in the pu- in, in the public but maybe there is a way of creating a digital uh, environment or digital game or an app or a website or a way of, of using Instagram that's not just about marketing but in fact of uh, influencing behavior and influencing change. So think of it being interactive and how you can change the behavior. So those are two examples that I'm giving and you are the creative ones. You are the ones engaging all this different technology. So I expect for you to come up with these unique experiences, ways to change behavior. What would influence you? What would you want to see? And this also ties to what's most important or one important part that I'll be looking for for your final presentation, and that's creating a mock-up and that prototype or demo video. So I provided some examples, and the bottom line is if you were to come up with an app, that would be an example of of a mock-up or a prototype. If you were to come up with a demo video of how that would work or how other civic engagement strategies, that's what I'm looking for, and that's required for the final presentation. So however you're going to come up with these strategies, you need to represent that in some sort of prototype mock-up or artifact. And that, because that helps us communicate our strategies and helps visualize that. So you saw a few groups come up with videos for their personas. This would be an example of a prototype, the prototype of the persona and the customer journey map. I'm looking that for something similar to that, but for your strategies, okay? So those are three main important things that I need to cover. I look forward to your future presentations and the milestones. Again, continue to look on the the booklet. I look for a dynamic, engaging booklet in the future. And remember, groups, go back to the brief, read it over, and address the civic engagement strategies that we're trying to develop so we get back on track. Again, signing off. See you soon.